Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new, I'm going to butcher this guy's name like crazy, Nieder Leschner card. Nieder Leschner? Nieder Leschner? Nieder Leschner? Nider Leshner. We're going to go with Nider Leshner. Card to review today. So we're taking a look at a card that is six foot two, high, high work rates, right footed, three star skills, four star weak foot. Can't wait for the comments to roast me on that name. Player traits. He has no finesse shot trait and no outside foot shot traits. In game, he's got 84 acceleration, 93 sprint speed. Okay, so the way that this card is formatted right off the bat is that he's going to be one of those like physical type strikers right so physical you know a target man oriented get the one little bit of space make the shot could potentially score uh type of dude right so obviously going to stray away from the meta of the game but could be still very fun to use uh regardless so we'll see how he performs because he does have 97 shot power which is actually very helpful right so 91 attacking positioning with 93 finishing 97 shot power with 90 volleys at 88 composure is good to work with obviously we're not really going to take long strikes with him so the long shots being at an 80 is not necessarily uh, a terrible thing because I wouldn't do it anyways without the player traits in the card. Uh, base card stats for passing is decent for a striker. If you give him, if you give him the engine chemistry style, we will be boosting uh, the main stats for his passing as much as possible. We want to give him an engine because he is a six foot two player with a high and average body type. So improving the balance, dribbling, and agility as much as possible is definitely going to be very important for a card like this. Uh, defensive stats for this card, he's at 91 for heading accuracy, but he can't really jump. He's at 70 for jumping. Uh, he does have 90 stamina with 87 strength and then 88 aggression. So... I mean, with a card like this, you could probably have fun with him in the cam position because that's usually where you want to use cards like this if you are going to try to use them. Uh, because up top in the striker position, it might not necessarily be the most ideal thing. But regardless, we will be trying him out there because every time I use this Marco Royce card, it's just a ton of fun to use. I just absolutely love it. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to use him in right-footed four-star weak foot. We'll use him in the right striker position. Yep, we'll use him there. Yeah, and then we'll just use the rest of the team as is in the 4 1 2 and 2. The only instructions that we usually have for the strikers are just come back in defense because he does have the 90 stamina and high, high work rates. Uh, it could actually work out really nicely for a card like this, right? Stay back while attacking for the fullbacks? No. For these guys, we're going to tell them to be unbalanced. Offer a little bit of extra width in the team. With Lars Bender, I actually see him being. A better center back than a fullback. Uh, we have a Limer here. Lamer, Limer. In this case, I would actually give Bender a shadow if he's on seven, but even on an anchor over there, not a bad thing at all. Yeah, so I just want to have like better fullbacks to be able to attack with. But uh, yeah, let's get into some games and see how he plays. Just got to make sure it is the attacking tactic. Okay. Nieder Lechner. Nieder Lechner. That's his name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I had to like spam the uh, accelerated touch right there. The little. Uh... <laughs> I don't. I don't know if he's gonna do it or not. Because you kind of have to work with that physical aspect of his, right? Oh, I'm actually going to get that? Oh, wow. That was really strange. At least he made that run right away. Oh, he actually makes that run right there. Huh. I actually got that shot cancel there. Cool. Nice. A little accelerated touch there as well. We'll take it. We'll take it. Nieder Lechner. That's his name. Nieder Lechner. Dude, he's so big in game. Wow. Oh, nice finish right there. We'll take that. Good finish. Good finish. Nice. 
You know what's good about those situations is that players like this, when they're so big and they're so strong, once you get that little touch ahead of the defender, you just have to finish afterwards. And again, with players like this, it's very important that EA gives them uh, the high base card stats for shooting to make him as usable as possible in this game. Like high, high work rates, he actually comes back into defensive positions really nicely. I'm going to see if I can get a little pass off right here. Transitions back, that's good. Wait for that play. Ah. You do have to work with that initial touch, though. You will have to. This Royce card, oh my god, it's so... Like, thank goodness they actually made him, him good again. Wow. It's been years since I liked his card. Yeah, over there, I just wanted to try the uh, near post strike after the touch. So what I'm doing there, right, is I'm testing out the responsiveness with the left stick, right? So what I like to do in those situations when I have players that can dribble really nicely is I go forward back really quickly, right? So obviously with players like Royce, he can obviously do that really nicely. Uh, but even with the physical type strikers, I do attempt to try those out as much as possible. So obviously with a card like this, because he's so big, he's not going to like dribble as responsibly as you'd like him to be in the full meta aspect, but... Not even full meta, just like a little bit of meta. You just, like just the responsiveness in that attacking third, you definitely want for sure. Yeah, once you get into those like specific situations like that, you just gotta boost up that shot. And because he has the shot power so high, he can actually score those opportunities. Oh, yeah, I try to go for the near post angle there. Over there, I'm not even joking when I tell you guys. I just do, like, a bunch of shot cancels, ball rolls. Because uh, the attacking AI in that area for the other players is never great. So it's always good to do shot cancels, see if you can kind of, like, force an animation out of a player. Yeah, see, even in that situation, he doesn't really go into that space quick enough. Because he doesn't have the base pace stats as well as the agility, physicality to do it quickly. Some players, even if they don't have that, are actually really good at seeing that space immediately. Like Kostic, Kostic is pretty good. That card has a lot of potential for his uh, team of the season if they give him the right stats. Eh, not a bad finesse shot, to be fair. The shot power is compensating a lot for this card so far. He actually has an animation to take that strike there. It's not a great animation, it's a pretty generic one. It just takes him longer to hit the strike, but... Hmm. He just randomly stopped playing right there. Honestly, if he just stops playing, he probably can defend better. Because that's just how this game is. <laughs> Yeah, his left of finesse shots are not going to come off great. <laughs> this card with his with his shot power, it's mostly going to be the um, regular shot, regular shots, <clears throat> just power strikes. <laughs> shot power on those is definitely noticeable too. First time, eh? We tried it. It's a really low percentage strike from there, but just want to give it a go, anyways. Ah, oh, way too much. You see how he puts the little sway into that touch right there? That's what threw him off from the finesse shot. Yeah, you can see the sway on his dribble. So even if you give him the engine chemistry style, you can't really fix that for a base characteristic of his. Could you imagine if I scored that, though? Um, yeah, you definitely can't fix that. So, you know, if you want to use him for fun, or for any of you guys who are doing him for sentimental value, you could give him something else. But, I mean, the engine still makes the most sense for him, to be fair. I wouldn't give him anything else. It's just uh, it's just one of those cards that, like, you just... 
you can't really use in this game, you know? It's like, it's like Zekko. Zekko's a similar situation, like, you can use them, but the only thing that they really offer is once they get into that one area, they do a regular power strike, it's good, but you need players that can dribble and just move across the pitch quickly in this gameplay, so it's definitely a card that you use mostly for fun, for sure. That's a really bad pass by me. Um, but it's usable for what it is, you know? But it's definitely not like a, oh, I would use this card in the meta. Definitely wouldn't. Oh, I wish this game wasn't so poor. I would have actually gotten a really good through ball pass there with him. And that one should have gone to the fullback too. But the passing in this game is uh, it's phenomenal. All right, guys. So final verdict on the Niederlechner card. So I do think that with this card... It is a card that definitely needs the engine chemistry style to boost the dribbling as much as possible. However, you can't really fix it because of the six foot two height and high and average body type. It's just not one of those things uh, that you can do for a card like this. Uh, his high, high work rates is not necessarily special. Like when I use Kostic on high, high work rates, I like the way that he actually moves across the pitch. With Niederlechner, it definitely feels more generic, I would say. Uh, base card stats for pace, it's, it doesn't really feel like it's crazy important uh, to boost his pace as much as possible, but it's still pretty obvious to give him the engine. So it's like, okay, I'll use the pace and try to dribble with him, dribble with him as much as possible. Now, it is those physical type of strikers. So with a card like this, it definitely makes more sense to just pass and go with him. You know, you don't want to spend too much time on the ball with him in regards to dribbling. It's just a person that has to uh, be able to dribble, take one small touch, be able to score, take one touch, go for the accelerated uh, movement. The um, what are the, what do they call it in this game? The um, the nutmeg thing, the accelerated touch, you know, the L1, R1 right stick uh, to score those opportunities. Because once he gets into those areas, yes, he can score because of the shot power being as high as it is uh, with the finishing at a 93. Uh, the weak foot at four star definitely makes the card more usable, but he definitely joins the Sentimental Value FC club. Uh, if I were to ever get him in my club, he would go straight into fodder. I wouldn't even use his card for fun, to be honest with you. He's just one of those guys that... It, it's hard to work with him because of the height uh, and high and average body type. The dribbling stats being as it is with the engine chemistry style, it's more noticeable from his base card stats. It actually feels worse than his base card stats, but the reason why it does that is obviously because he's a six foot two player with a high and average body type. But uh, for those of you that want to use him for fun, you definitely can. Uh, it's just not a card that I would personally use in general. So uh, straight to SPC fodder for my boy Gayu. <laughs> nah, he's probably going to keep him because his team is crazy, man. He has so many players, but... Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.